Good evening and welcome to the Daily Market Update. The DSCX slipped into the red zone today as it lost by 12.34 points or 0.20% today and settled at 6,302 points. Market turnover was BDT 5.91 billion, which is an increase of 10.83% compared to the previous trading day. Meghna Life Insurance, Delta Life Insurance, Pioneer Insurance and Reliance Insurance from the insurance sector Lafarge Holes in Bangladesh and Heidelberg Cement from the cement sector and Orion Infusion from the pharmaceutical sector mainly dragged the market down today. In terms of sector-wise return, the tannery sector posted the highest gain of 0.69%, while the industrial sector registered the second highest gain of 0.10%. On the other hand, the insurance sector posted the highest loss of 2.29% today. 18 insurance companies were among the top 20 losers today. Khan Brothers, PP Woven Bag Industries, Kulna Printing and Packaging and Apex Tannery registered the highest gain, while Meghna Life Insurance, Shonali Life Insurance and Chartered Life Insurance were the top losers today. There is no publicly disclosed price-sensitive information for the price change of these stocks. The trading volume of Ring Shine Textiles, Olympic Accessories and Dorian Power Generations and Systems increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. There is no publicly disclosed material reason for the volume increase of these stocks. Today's top two news. The government has implemented only 63.73% of the total revised annual development program ADB in the first 11 months of the current fiscal year, owing to the lack of spending capacity. Increased cost of construction raw materials caused suspension of many projects. Moreover, government austerity measures have limited funding allocation, which resulted in a negative impact on the ADP implementation rate. If the situation goes on like this, the execution rate will further go down. The Bangladesh Bank has declared a reference lending rate of 7.13% for July. The banks are allowed to apply a margin of at most 3% over the reference rate with an additional 1% supervision fee. In addition, some other rules have have been announced regarding the interest rate, including the interest rate cannot be changed within six months of its implication. However, the lending interest rate still doesn't seem fully market-based. That's all for today. We will be back again tomorrow with more updates on Taka Stock Exchange. Follow Eller Global on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.